I can use the vex, for example, and I can, for example, write at p scale equals, for example, one, and it's create for me this uh, uh, this value for uh, p scale. Or I can use another way, maybe it's more faster in some case, with attribute created. I can apply here. And I can create the attribute with my custom name, for example, p scale. In this case, because p scale, it's uh, within is no, it's p, p scale is uh, associated to the position scale, to the, the scale of your element. But you can call also with another name without problem. And I can, for example, here you can say use the points, and here is the point is float, it's okay, the sides it's one, and by default it's zero. I can say the default is one, and the value of is out value is uh, I can have is one, for example, or it's uh, two. Also, I can uh, randomize it, and for randomize, I can use random attribute randomize. Here, I can take, for example, the p scale value, and here I can choose everything I want. But uh, in this case, I prefer use the expression, the expression inside my value here, and the expression is random. Open parenthesis. And inside parenthesis, I can use, for example, the our PT num. Okay. Now, if I come back on attribute transfer, I can say here also I want to transfer the P scale. You can see what's happened. But uh, for see what's happened, I need to connect from the copy to points here. And now I come back here, I see all it's black because uh, my geometry here it's black, but this, this is not a problem for now. And we can see what's happened. We see it change the color and change also the dimension is randomized for PTNAM and some is very small, some is, uh, is too white, okay? because it's changed also by the PT number you can have here. I can change inside my attribute created, the value here I can multiply, for example, two or four, because I want to see very, very well. You see, I change also the dimension. So when it's pass, you see the change. But I don't want to use the color here. I don't want to transfer the color. The color is uh, help you, for example, in some case, because uh, sometimes you don't see what uh, you pass and how is uh, transferred to your attribute. Maybe color can help you for understand how to transfer it, because here in the condition, if you change, for example, the distant threshold, you can see here also immediately with the color and you can understand very well what you do you transfer. But I don't want to see the color here. I want to keep the color of my original geometry or I want to apply, for example, the another kind of color. I can use the attribute delete And here, from the points, I can choose, for example, color. Now I have the original color, by default is gray. 